hey, Stewart Chapel, Brother Don Pearson and Don Counts. And you know what? He doesn't know this. But when I'm getting around, he's going to come over here and just stick his head and wave in here one time. Okay, Don? So he's going to do that in just a little bit. We're going to be walking worthy. We'll probably end with that, him just waving at you. He needs to be on that camera. Anyway, we're talking about walking worthy of our calling that is in Christ Jesus. And today, I want to talk about how forgiveness will have a big role in me being able to walk worthy of my calling in the next year. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Uh, Peter came to Jesus and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. And then he went in to tell the parable of the unforgiving servant. I want to share some things that I've been thinking about in relationship to me walking worthy of God's calling in the next year in relationship to forgiveness. Well, first, I will have to forgive more and keep less. I will have to forgive more and keep less. The second thing I, I've come to find, and a lot of people ask me, well, I, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Let me remind you of something. Forgiving is not dependent upon a person's memory. Forgiving is not dependent upon your memory. Forgiving is an act of will out of a direct command from Jesus. It's an act of obedience. It is an act that comes from yielding to the conviction of the Holy Spirit that declares in our lives, you need to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, it's gonna, it is going to fill your heart with all the things that are not of the Spirit. And so the Spirit tells us, He says, you know, you think it's all about forgetting. Forgiving is an act of the will. Forgiving is about your heart changing more than the heart of the other person. That's, you see, if you understand what God means when He tells us to forgive, you can't say things like, well, they've never said sorry. Well, they never may never say sorry. Well, they don't feel sorry, or they're not repentant. It's not about that. You see, forgiving is more about what kind of heart am I going to carry with me as I walk, walk and follow the Lord. It's more about my heart than it is about their heart. Forgiving is more about me looking like Jesus than my old self. You see, my old self doesn't want me to look like Jesus. My old self wants me to hold a grudge, be anger, bitter, wrathful, vengeful, spiteful, unforgiving. You see, every time I forgive, I die to self. You see, every time I forgive, I have to deny the flesh, the self that is in me. Uh, forgiving isn't easy, and I don't want you to think that it's easy. It's not like all of a sudden that God comes up to you and says, okay, it's done. And you... No, God doesn't do the forgiving. God already has forgiven, but He's the one commanding. We must do the forgiving of those who wrong us. You know, I don't know why God would put this as a focus in my devotions for me. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be a year where people are going to despitefully use me, persecute me, curse me, do wrong to me. But if it is, 
if it is for me or if it is for you, the only way I can keep following Christ is that I'm going to have to die to myself. And that requires me to forgive. Because that baggage, I'm not going to be able to march well. I'm not going to walk worthy with unforgiveness. Love you, my brothers and sisters.